Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. For the stitch I'm going to show you today, uh, you don't need multiples, you just uh, have to chain any number of chains you want, depending on uh, how wide you want your project to be. Uh, so, uh, just to show you here on a small swatch, I'm going to chain 15. And here are uh, my chains. Let's start with a row one. Start from the second chain from the hook. Uh, on this row we're going to work with single crochets, uh, but um, instead of the usual uh, yarn over pull through the loop, we're going to go with yarn under the hook and pull through. Then yarn over pull through both loops this is called X shape single crochet uh, because uh, it has uh, a little more uh, shape uh, X shape uh, to it uh, than the usual V shape uh, of the regular single crochet mm. so yeah going to the chain take the yarn from below so the hook is above the yarn and then finish as usual going to the chain grab the yarn pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops it's not visible yet but when you uh, build more rows you can see uh, the shape that I'm uh, talking about insert the hook into the chain go from uh, above not like this like this pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops so the difference is only here uh, on the next uh, step it's yarn over pull through both, both loops and continue with the same steps to the end of the row If you enjoy my tutorials, you can check out some of my written PDF patterns. I'll put some pictures here and down below you can find the links to my stores. And this is how row 1 is looking. Now row 2, chain 1 and turn. Start from the very first stitch and we're going to repeat row 1 with um, one single uh, crochet in each stitch the same way um, as the previous row going to the stitch take the yarn from above and make the X shaped single crochets and this is uh, row 2 for row 3 chain 1 and again we have a row with only a single crochets start from the very first stitch and work towards the end of the row again we are doing the X shaped single crochets Now row 4, chain 1 and here we have some um, different steps from the last 3 rows. We're going to make single crochets uh, above the stitches from row 1. So here is row 1. We're going to work here, 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 here. You can see them. Here, here also here so go into the first space right above the first stitch pull the yarn from behind pull it a little longer and make the single crochet then go into the next uh, uh, hole here take the yarn from behind Pull the loop higher until it reaches the edge of the, um, the project, yarn over, 
pull through two loops. And then we're moving on to the next stitch. Absolutely the same way. Here is the next stitch. Here is the next. Take the yarn, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And you can see how it's um, these V shapes are uh, forming. We continue with these steps to the end of the row. at the end of the row just make one of these single crochets in uh, the, above the last stitch right here and this is how it's looking for row 5 chain 1 turn and here again we are starting with the X shaped single crochets working for, for the whole row okay go ahead and make the row and this is a row five now row six and seven of seven are the same just chain one turn and make uh, one uh, and make one uh, X shape single crochet in each stitch I'll just uh, go ahead and make them and I'll wait for you to start row 8 and here is the uh, end of row 7 now to row 8 chain 1 turn and we are going to start with uh, um, another row of these uh, long single crochets we're going to work above the single crochets from row 5 so this is row 5, row 6, row 7 we're going to work here here, 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 here you can see them, these stitches just like uh, in row 4 go into the first stitch Take the yarn from behind, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And then move on to the next stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And continue until you reach the end of the row and this is how it's looking so from now you have to repeat the steps uh, in row 5 to row 8 uh, so you have three uh, three rows with single crochets row 5 6 7 and then it comes a row 8 with these long single crochets And this is the stitch. Let me know uh, if you like this stitch and what we'll be making with it. Um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!